Okay, this time with a proper mention right here in the intro, just as promised. Thank you very much Travis Stevens and Lou from Fishing with Lou for the idea to the Canon SL2 vlog setup video. People seem to enjoy it a lot, so once again to the both of you, thank you very much. I've linked both your channels up here and in the video description. So to everybody else, definitely make sure to check out Travis's Good Times video, because I believe you're going to have a good time watching it. And should you be interested in fishing, definitely check out Lou's channel. So once again to the both of you, thank you very much. Now to the topic of this video. The internal microphones of the Canon SL2 for an internal system actually deliver quite a decent performance. I honestly think that you can get away with using the internal audio in most situations, if you make sure to apply micro wind muffs for wind protection. Because if you don't, this is what it's likely going to sound like if you're shooting in a windy environment. So let's take care of that problem right away. Okay, so this is my Canon SL2 body, all unnecessary accessories removed, and these are Rycode, so-called micro wind jammers. It's a two-part process, these are the micro wind jammers, and these are the sticky pads you use to apply them to the camera body. Now in case of the SL2, there's two microphones we need to take care of. Right here, you can see the holes of the first one, and a little hidden, right in here, these are the holes of the second microphone. So let's take the first pad, and apply it right here. Apply firm pressure and obviously the perfect positioning for the pad is with the holes of the microphone right in the middle of the hole of the pad. By the way, the flashlight of the camera, once the micro wind muffs are applied, won't be working. So if you're planning on using it, unfortunately this is a no-go solution. The flash release button, by the way, right here will still work. Let's apply the second pad. And with this one, it's a little tricky, so bending before applying helps. Just fiddle around with this until the pad sits exactly the way it needs to sit. Once again, with the holes of the microphone right in the middle of the hole of the pad. Let's remove the covers. And this is pretty much what it's supposed to look like. Now let's install the wind jammers. Important thing to note, with these wind jammers, there's a front and there's a back. Do you see how the fur moves this way? This means that this is the front and this is the back. And the best results you're going to get if you apply the micro wind jammers so that wind most likely is to hit the wind jammers right from the front. So make sure to apply them accordingly. Once again, bending them when applying them makes things a little easier. So let's carefully apply the first one. Apply some firm pressure. And as you can see, flashlight is blocked, but the flash release button still works. Let's apply the second one. Once again, make sure where the front is and where the back is. Bend a little and apply. Okay, so this is pretty much what this should look like. Also, feel free to trim where trimming is needed. And now let's check out how much of an improvement we're getting from those. So Travis and Lou and everybody else of course, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.